So we're on stage at, at uh, Delphi Opera House, and um, tell us a little bit about where we're at and, and what's behind you. Behind me is what you see is a um, what is left of a backdrop that was painted probably about 1872, um, we think by a local artist, and it probably served as a permanent backdrop to um, the opening of, of the, um, the stage area. So. Um, we're not really sure if it was from, I don't think it was from a production. I think it was just a very nice soothing backdrop that was painted and utilized as a permanent backdrop for any shows that took place here. Um, it's beautiful, but the really very nice feature is on either side of this. If you'll walk over here, you can see that um, on either side of this wonderful mural, um, there's a number of signatures and notations from past performers. We're assuming they're past performers. Um, some of them may have been stage hands. This happens to say props hand, and I don't know if this is connected, but Joe Carr. Apparently Joe Carr was here a lot. We have a Joe Carr here, we have a Joe Carr here, drop the E along the way, and then Joe Carr down here. Um, and so the dates that you're seeing here uh, can't read any of these right here, but over here, I love this one. Um, this is from The Union Spy, a play that would have been performed here in 1884. Three nights, three, um, two, th three nights to a packed house. And I don't have my reading glasses on, but it does say something about... Um, uh, to, a, to a packed house and then somewhere, aha, here, this. Um, time is short, eternity is long, death is sure, pre prepare to meet God. So, um, you know, people maybe intentionally left these messages. I am sure they intentionally left these messages, but you know, were they uh, signed as they were waiting backstage to come on? Um, did they sign this in a way that they knew uh, how long and lingering these uh, messages would be here. Um, but when we moved into the space and we saw this, we thought, you know, there's no way that we can cover this up. This is just, there's too much history here and too many great stories. So all across the wall here and then on the other side, um, there's all sorts of notations and, and um, signatures about who, who was here and when they were here. Um, and so to kind of, uh, to, to bridge what was then and this is now, we, on this wall, which is a new wall, on the um, addition, uh, the new addition of the backstage area, we have our new wall. It's not quite as beautiful in terms of having a lovely um, scene painted on it, but we do have all of the current performers that have performed in here since the time that we opened in um, uh, October of this year. So um, October of 2015 coming into this year. And um, if you go across there, there's probably some names that you might recognize. We have Jeff Daniels and the Ben Daniels Band. Uh, Nikki Rood, someone that is very well known in the Lafayette, West Lafayette area. Scott Greeson. Um, Chris Valillo, just a lot of good stuff there and lots of good stuff to come.